right? So now let me go to a third model. And this is going to be a model in which I'm going to have a single good economy. And that single good economy is going to have a single consumption good. Why? That we can split between consumption and investment. Now we're really starting to look like macro, right? <laughs> that is, we're going to have Y. And Y is going to be split between consumption and investment. And we can think about this as like a representative consumer model. Maybe we're back with Robinson Crusoe on the island, and he this is his Y. And he has to decide how he's going to divide his Y between C and I. And Y is just F of K. Okay, that's my model. So we're just abstracting away from labor. Just think labor's fixed. And uh, opposite of, of course, you know, the Malthusian view of the world, we're just going to think of labor fixed, and while the world is all about capital. Okay. Well, what's the cost of investment in this model? That is, we don't have any like marginal cost curve for investment. This has a constant supply cost, right? How much does it cost a unit of, to make a unit of investment? One unit of consumption, right? That is, they're, this, they're perfect substitutes on the production side, right? If I thought about our production possibility frontier between I and C, it looks like that, right? That is, we can produce any combination of C and I that we want as long as it adds up to F of K, right? Everybody agrees? That's the production possibility frontier. The production possibility frontier between C and I is linear, so a constant trade-off between C and I. Now, the model that you and we wrote down Back when, you could think of as having some curve to this, right? That is, it costs more. As we wanted to invest more in I, it costs more C, right? That was our rising supply price model. This model gets rid of rising supply. It also gets rid of adjustment costs. So this model has no barriers to, like, increasing capital as fast as you want. You could go all the way to here. Now, of course, if you wanted to produce, if you wanted I equals F of K, what would that mean? That means C equals zero, okay? Not such a great idea, probably. Right? Robinson Crusoe wants to eat, okay? So in this model, the rising supply price of capital is not going to come from the technology side of the problem. It's going to come from the consumption side of the problem. That if we want to invest a lot in capital, we got to sacrifice a lot of consumption. And the desire to cons smooth consumption over time is going to take the place of a rising supply price. But you get the idea? We want to smooth our consumption out over time. So we are going to effectively have a rising supply price. That is, we are going to eat into our consumption, which is going to make consumption more valuable, which is going to limit the rate at which we're going to want to invest. Okay? So the limitation in this model on the speed of investment is that we're going to be sacrificing valuable consumption, and we want to smooth our consumption over time. Okay? So the cost of investing too quickly is that we'd have to consume too little for a while. And that desire to smooth consumption is going to cause us to spread out. 